All right. Number one. What is the product of the expression shown? All right. What you needed to do was basically solve the problem. The word product means answer to a multiplication problem. So what is the product of the expression shown? 347 times 6. So I'm going to do my rectangle model. I'm going to break up 347 times 6. I'm going to use a whiteboard. Okay. So 347 times 6. I'm just going to use this so I don't have to. Okay, so step one, make your rectangle model. Okay, the first number, 300 plus 40 plus 7. Okay, so 300, 40, and then 7. You break that apart. All right, so that's, that's how we start our multiplication problems. Then where the pluses are, we make our lines. This number, the 6, goes right here. All right, so far so good? 6 times 3 is 18. How many zeros do I have? 2. 2. So 1, 2. 1,800. Next step, 6 times 4. How many zeros? 1. 6 times 7? 42. Last step. Add them all up. Remember, we got to line them up correctly. And we line them up correctly so that we can add them correctly. 0 plus 0 plus 2. 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. So I put my 0 and I carry that 1. That's 10. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1, 2, 3, comma. Our answer is 2,082. Okay. Check your work. So for those who completed it, check your work. Next one. 4,671 times 9. 4,671 times 9. So 4,671 times 9. It's the same process, okay? Just different numbers. So I'm going to make my rectangle model. I'm going to write 4,000 plus 600 plus... 70 and plus one. Okay. So you break those apart. Where the pluses are, you can put your lines. Then I bring my nine over here. Alright. So we break it down and then we just multiply straight across. Nine times four? Thirty-six. How many zeros? Three, so one, two, three, comma. Nine times, oh wait, nine times six. Fifty-four. How many zeros? One, two, three, comma. There you go. Nine times seven. How many zeros? Nine times one. Nine. Okay. Then we're just gonna add. Make sure we write them correctly. I am. Okay. We put them in order. Oh, yeah, I was like, what? See, I almost made a mistake just by looking at them, but if I write them in order, I know I, I won't make a mistake. Okay. Um, am I kidding? Zero plus zero plus zero plus nine. Is it nine? Zero plus zero plus three is three. Zero plus four is four. Four plus six is ten, so I got a zero. Carry the one. Five plus one is six. Plus another 6 is 12, so I put the 2, carry the 1, 
Three plus one is four. Okay. One, two, three, yes. comma. My answer is 42,039. 42,039. Okay, our next one. Write the equation, create an illustration, find the exact quotient, and interpret the remainder. Okay, that's what we've been working on. Oh, Jace. Don't cross this correct. Oh, C. Yeah. Seven times as many as five is? 35. 35, yes, that is correct. Okay. Seven times as many as five is 35. So this can be read as seven times as many as five is 35. Okay. So when you read those, that is just a multiplication problem in words, okay? So remember, times as many as is this symbol right here, okay, the multiplication. So don't forget that. So our answer was, yes, 35. Now for the next one, Tim wanted to give each of his six friends an equal amount of pizza. He bought 33 slices of pizza to give them. How many more slices should he have bought so he didn't have any extra? Yes, Tim. Um, didn't they all have six portions, but um, Tim only had one portion. All right, make sure it's going again. All right, yeah. All right, so he has six friends, and he has 33 slices of pizza. Okay. So six friends, 33 slices of pizza. So how do I, what is my dividend? Rodrigo, what is the dividend? Okay, what is the divisor? Six friends. Six friends, okay. Six tells us how many groups we're going to make, right? The divisor tells us how many of these circles we're going to make. So here's my illustration. Number three. Okay. And then when do I stop? When do I stop? 33, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Oh, I got to go back. You got to go back so I heard that. Somebody said, how many remainder? Three. three. So I got these three that I can't give them, right? Three. Okay. Now three, I can't give them two more. I can't give them three. Three more. Or I can't give these guys three because then it wouldn't be even. even. That Remember three it? More. Nice even. Equal. Good. We're saying it. So division is all about equal. So what is my answer? One, two, three, four, five. My quotient is five, remainder what? Three. Remainder three. You're like, where did I get the answer for five? How many they each got? They each got five slices, but there was three left over. I'm still not done because the second part of the question said, answer in complete sentences, okay? Interpret the remainder. So the question was, how many more pieces of pizza should he have bought so he didn't have these three left over? Leslie, what do you think? Do you agree, Rodrigo? I agree. Angel. Okay, so she is correct. These three he has right here, those are left over. So if he gave these three to them, these guys would still need one, right? So how many more? One, two, three. Now they all have how much? Six. So the final answer, if you answer it in a complete sentence, it should say, he should have 
bought three more. Who's who bought eight more? Three more. Three more. Three more. Okay. Alright, so that's what you you can put Tim. You can but you need to write bought three more. He need to he should have bought three more. Okay? So you needed the equation. You needed the illustration. You needed the quotient and remainder. And then you needed to answer in a complete sentence. You need all four parts. Right? The next one. No, I cannot. If you have a dollar fifty-five and you buy two pencils for seventy-five cents each, how much money will you have left? Okay. So first let's do the math for it. How much does each pencil cost? 75 cents. How much money do you have? You have a dollar fifty-five. Okay, so let's write down what we have. A dollar fifty-five is what we have. They got this is how much cents each pencil costs. How many pencils pencils did they buy? Two. Two. So am I gonna do this minus this? No. No. 75. I mean I could, but I'd have to do it twice. Instead, what should I do first? Yeah, add the 75 together so you can find out how much you spent, right? So I'm going to add 75 cents plus 75 cents. Okay. I'm just going to add them right here. And remember, you have to line up the decimals. When you are adding, you have to line up decimals. When you are subtracting, you have to line up decimals. The decimals have to be in order. They're like the commas. Kadisha, focus. 5 plus 5 is 10. 7 plus 7 is 14. Plus another one is 15. So I'm going to put a 5 decimal, and I'm going to carry the 1. Is there anything here to add with it? No. no, so I bring it down. So how much did you spend on two pencils? A dollar and 50 cents for two pencils. Okay? So... The reason it's a dollar and fifty cents. Imagine you had six quarters, because that's what it is. How many quarters make a dollar? Four. 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 So how many quarters are left? Two. 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 So you have a dollar and fifty cents. Okay. So when you can't do this part, you gotta start using your head. All right. Remember those quarters? You know how to count them, what they're worth. Okay. Seventy-five cents. So now I'm gonna subtract a dollar fifty. Minus, what do you have? A dollar fifty-five. Five take away zero is five. Five take away five is zero. You still got to put your decimal. One take away one is five cents. Zero. So how much change do you have left? Five cents. Okay. Now which picture is that? Which picture is that? Which one is five cents? Bella. B. Yes. This is. 75 plus a nickel, 80 cents. 25 cents plus a dime, 30 cents. Five pennies, one, two, three, four, five. So your answer should have been B, okay? The next one, number four. If you have a rectangle and the area is 42 inches, okay, 42 inches square, I couldn't put the little two on it, but you have a rectangle. It's 42 inches square. Okay? So that means the area is 42 inches. That means something times something equals 42 inches square. Okay? That's area. Remember, to find area, you need to multiply the length and the width. Okay? You multiply those two, the length and the width, and it's going to get 42. Now, we don't know those yet. Got to keep reading. The length is how much? Seven inches. So I know one of them now. I know this is seven inches. And this is seven inches. Okay? So I do have information now. What is the width going to be then? Six. Why is it six, Rosalinda? Seven times two equals 42. Seven times 
Seven times six is 42. You said the right answer, but then you told me the wrong multiplication. Okay, so seven times six is 42. That's the only way you can make it if you're multiplying by seven. So that means this is six. So now can I find the, the uh, perimeter? Yes. 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 How do I find this side? By adding. By adding. Wait. No, it's, it's the same because it's a rectangle. It's a rectangle. So if this side is seven. Then that side is seven. This side is six. That side is six. Okay. Yes, opposite sides are congruent. That means opposite sides are the same. So now I can add all these up, and what do I get? Well, I'm going to go here. 6 I plus 6 is 12. 7 plus 7 is 14. So see, isn't it supposed to be like the other side? Because uh, like this side is kind of longer 26. than this side. Yeah, it, yeah we could have done that. But. It's 26. Yeah, 26. What Rodrigo was saying was, shouldn't this side have been this because this is longer? Yes, but sometimes when they just give you math That's problems, longer. That one's longer. they're they're never accurate. Okay, but it needs to be twenty six inches. Okay, so the perimeter perimeter equals twenty six inches. Okay, so all the way around twenty six inches. Uh, let me see. Last one. If you just woke up and it's 6.30, the bus comes at 7.10, how much time do you have to get ready? It's a long time. Okay. So remember, time, once we get to 60, it starts all over. So if it's 6.30, we can count by tens. We can go 6.30, then 6.40, then 6.50. Then six. Yeah, four, yeah, four minutes. We can say six, so that would be seven. We can say, okay, now it's seven. And then seven. Ten. Ten. How many minutes was that? Forty, 40 minutes. Okay. So I did it by ten, so it could be easier for us. So if it's 6.30, right, we start at 6.30. Then it's 6.40. That's ten minutes. Then it's 6.50. That's another ten minutes. Then when it's seven o'clock. That's another 10 minutes. And then when it's 7.10, that's another 10 minutes, okay? So 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes, all right? Think about it. If you wake up in the morning and it's 6.30 and your bus is coming at 7.10, you don't, you don't got five minutes to get ready. You got 40 minutes, okay? So you have to think about that. All right. Okay.